charioteer claps his wings and loudly cries, Mortals, mortals, wake and rise. See the wonder heaven is under. From the earth is given a sun, shines all night, though day be done. Wake, O oh earth, wake everything. Wake and hear the joy I bring. Wake and joy for this night. Heaven and earth and every twinkling light. All amazing, still stand gazing. Angels, powers, and all that be. Wake, enjoy this sun to see. Hail, O sun, O blessed light, brought into this world by night. Let thy rays of heavenly power shine into this dark soul of ours. For most holy thou art, truly God and man, we do confess. Hail, O sun of righteousness. A little child, there be ye born, and sprang out of Jesse's thorn, to save all us that we were forlorn. Alleluia! And Jesus is thy child's name, and Mary Mile, she is his name. And so our sorrow is turned again. Alleluia. It came upon a high midnight. The stars they shone both clear and bright. The angels sang with all their might. Alleluia. Three kings there came with their gifts of gold and myrrh and frankincense. As clerks sang in their sequence. Alleluia. And now we sit upon our knee and pray unto the Trinity. Our help, our succor, for to be. Alleluia. Blessed be our Christ Jesus, thou art man born, this is true. The angels make a merry noise, yet have we all more cause to rejoice. The blessed Son of God only, in a crib full poor did lie, in our poor flesh and our poor blood, was clothed that everlasting good. He that made heaven and earth of naught, for our flesh hath our help brought. For our sake made he himself full small, that reigneth glory and king over all. Eternal light doth now appear to the world both far and near. It shineth full clear, even at midnight, making us children of his light. The Lord Christ Jesus, God's Son dear, was a guest and a stranger here, for us to bring from misery that we may live eternally. All this did he for us freely to declare his great mercy, that all Christendom be merry therefore and give him thanks forevermore. There is a morning light of fear, the last and gaudy day, in which was day was born of Savior dear, arising from away. This day prevents his day of doom, his mercy now is nigh, the mighty God of love is come, the day spring from on high. Behold, the great creator makes himself a house of clay, a rope of virgin flesh he takes, which he will wear for a. This wonder struck the world amazed, it shook the starry frame. Squadrons of angels stood and gazed, and down in troops they came. Glad shepherds run to view this sight, a choir of angels sings, and eastern sages with delight adore this king of kings. I now present King Ephraim in the reading of the three trees. Once upon a mountaintop, three little trees stood and dreamed of what I wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars twinkling like diamonds above him. I want to hold treasure, he said. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I'll be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be a strong sailing ship, he said. I want to travel mighty waters and carry powerful kings. I will be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below, where busy men and busy women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave this mountaintop at all, she said. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they will raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rains came, the sun shone, and the three little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed the mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall be made into a beautiful treasure chest, thought the first tree. I shall hold wonderful treasure. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, This tree is strong. It is perfect for me. With a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall save, sail mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship fit for kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely towards heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered. 
and with a swordfish and an axe, the third tree fell. The first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought him to a carpenter's shop, but the busy carpenter was not thinking about treasure chests. Instead, his work-worn hands fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or filled with treasure. He was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to the shipyard, but no mighty sailing ships were being made that day. Instead, one strong tree hammered and sawed into a simple fishing boat, too small and too weak to sail an ocean or even a river. He was taken to a lake, and every day he brought loads of dead, smelly fish. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened, the once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted to do was stay on top of the mountain and point to God. Many days and nights passed, the three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby into the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This mango is perfect, she said. And suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveler and his friends crowded into the old fishing boat. The traveler fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the lake. Soon a thundering and thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry that many passengers safely through the wind and rain. The tired man awakened when he stood up, stretched out his hand, and said, Peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it began, and suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten woodpile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry, jeering crowd. She shuddered when soldiers nailed a man's hands to her. She felt ugly and harsh and cruel. But on a Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the first tree beautiful. It had made the second tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. And that was better than being the tallest tree in the world. And now, our fantasy will soon fade. Displaced in part by memories made of beauty, joy, and love for thee, may the shadows shape of memory. Illusionary though they feel, grant you blessings that are real.